let's put some polynomials into standard form. <laughs> um, this first polynomial on the left um, is not in standard form, and neither is the one on the right. The main things with putting a polynomial in standard form is you have to have each one of your terms ha um, in order by their power. So the highest powered term would have to come first, uh, followed by a, a lower powered term, followed by another lower powered term, and so on. Also, there cannot be any terms that are like terms, so any like terms have to be added together. Let's start out here on the left. On the left, there are no like terms. There's a term with x, a term with x squared, and a term that's just a constant with no x. And so none of, the, none of them are like terms, so we can't add or subtract any of them together. So all I can do is put these in order. So the order would be to put the one with the x squared first, then 4x, which is x to the first, even though it's not written there, and then plus 8. So that would be a polynomial now put into standard form. On the right, um, you can see they're kind of out of order, but also we have um, numerous ones with the same power. So this x to the fourth and this plus 2x to the fourth are like terms. So I'm going to go ahead and add those together. 1x to the fourth plus 2x to the fourth is 3x to the fourth. Okay, then I'm looking through for the next lower power, and my next lower power is 3. And there are actually two terms that have x to the third. This is negative 2x to the third, and this is plus 2x to the third. And when I go ahead and add those together, I actually get 0. So I've now got 0x to the third, which I don't have to write. And then the last thing is, I'm, is I've got that here. So there's no other term like it, so I can just copy it down, minus x squared when I go ahead and write my final answer for this um, I wouldn't even write this part in there I would just write y equals 3x to the fourth minus x squared and somebody would say well could you write it in there and, and you could but it's kind of like having plus zero on the end of your answer um, in a problem there's no need to you probably shouldn't put it there it's not really necessary so your answer then would be y equals 3x to the fourth minus x squared um, as your is that same polynomial in standard form.